All right, here we are. Sony a6500 in uh, Cine Gamma, uh, Cine Profile, and overexposed image. Well, it's okay. I mean, you could see a little bit of the sky. As you can see, we have no nodes here, so we're gonna try to recover some detail and uh, just kind of make this look a little bit more balanced. Um, so this is not S-Log in the a6500. This was shot super early in the morning uh, and it was just, you know, I set it to be slightly overexposed because I knew I could bring some of this back down and I didn't want these um, bushes and stuff to get too dark. Uh, anyways, let's uh, create some nodes here. Now, anytime I uh, shoot overexposed, I like to create a layer mix mixer and I like to change the composite mode to overlay. So I do two things. If I'm shooting things that are too dark, I use screen, which makes it brighter. You'll see it makes it really bright. Um, if I shoot where it's too bright, then I use overlay and that'll make it darker. You can see how much darker it's gotten here. Then I'll do, what I'll do is I'll uh, backtrack. I'll go to the node behind the layer mixer and I'll start to adjust my exposure in the um, curves. So if I bring down my highlights, you'll see I'm starting to recover that sky right there. See that sky? Uh, this is the before and this is the after. So we're getting that sky back. Then what I wanna do is I wanna bring up some of the shadow so it's not too crushed. And here's where I'm gonna add like a whole bunch of points. I'm gonna grab, try to bring up some of these mids, make it a little bit more flat. And I'll just keep playing with this. So maybe we'll be like somewhere right there. And uh, so we're getting there. We're getting a flat image with our detail back in the shadows and the highlights. Um, and then here we can start to play with things like maybe contrast that starts to stretch the image a little bit. We'll bring up our highlights, stretch our highlights back up maybe a little bit of the shadows we could do all this from the uh, dials as well bring down the shadows here so i'm just adding contrast now a lot of pushing a lot of pulling just until I'm happy. Cool, so this is our before washed out and this is our after. We're able to get a lot more information here. Now we wanna add probably some saturation. So there's a couple of ways we could do it. We could do like just adding the color boost here and that looks pretty good. We could also do it through saturation or we could saturate just parts of the image. Like uh, for instance, if we wanna do saturate the um, uh, what's that these trees here we can do a hue versus saturation we could select our greens and then we could push this up and you'll notice that our trees are getting more saturated so um, this is the before saturation and after so it's a little bit one thing about Sony footage is sometimes the sky can look a little teal uh, kind of greenish so you could do a um, hue versus hue and then you can select the uh, the blues here <clears throat> and from here we can play around to what you feel is like a natural looking blue so uh, it's usually too teal so if we push this up you can see how much how teal it is and sometimes your sony footage will look like that um, but if we bring it back down then we're adding more purplish so uh, you can kind of play with that here's a teal here where we can kind of play play around with this as well Pull some of that back down. And just play with it until you think you have like a natural blue, which is okay. I don't know, I'll just leave it like that. We can also check our white balance. Uh, sometimes I like to find neutral colors. For instance, uh, this sidewalk should be kind of grayish, I guess. Click on that, you can see there's some blue because we're in the shade. Um, we could bring some of that blue back down in the mids here and that will kind of warm it up a little bit. Uh, and I don't know, uh, that's pretty good. I think I'll take this. As you can see, let's play this out. 
That's our after, but this is our before. And again, this is our after. So yeah, we were able to recover a lot of information, a lot of color here um, in DaVinci Resolve on the Sony a6500. Again, this is not a uh, S-Log profile. This is like a cinema profile, Cine 4 or something. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys uh, some of the things that I do if it's overexposed. Don't follow my node pattern here. Not very organized. There's better ways of doing it. But anyways, hopefully that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, hit me up or leave some comments below. Thanks for watching.